In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all of you who are watching us today online. Uh, please submit your prayer intentions, and all of us will pray with you today. Let us call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian Enoch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And as a lamb before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began with this scripture passage. He proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out 
to God with joy. Let all of the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all of the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God, who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In those days, Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that no one, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. I mentioned yesterday that uh, Jesus has been making a bold claim saying that he is the bread of life. And it's something that uh, the, the, the folks in John's gospel uh, needed, to, uh, needed to decide on in order to follow him as Christians. And so Jesus makes another bold claim in our reading today that only those who have been called by the Father will come to him. And I think that's a rather humbling claim, and it's certainly a call that uh, the Ethiopian eunuch uh, responded to as Philip baptized him in our first reading today. What makes us worthy to come to Jesus is not what you or I have done. The love of the Father calls us toward God's self through Jesus. And I think that's critical for two reasons. First, as the love of God draws us in the divine life, we can claim no credit for ourselves because all of us are outsiders. And this gives us the opportunity to go far and wide to encounter people. The love of the Father calls people of every time, every place, and every age. This is a love that knows no bounds. All of creation comes from God, and all of creation returns to God by going through God. And second, the Father's love sends us to people of every time, every place, every age. All of us are called to go out into the world in order to help people experience the love of the Father and hear that call for them 
to come home. How we live helps to bring the voice of the Father into the world today, helping people come to Jesus. raise our voices in prayer today as we ask God to bless them and respond to them by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may God bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, may a spirit of goodwill bring forth understanding reconciliation, and healing among all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who experience hunger or malnutrition, may the Lord sustain them in hope and help them secure the sustenance they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those newly initiated into the church, May the Lord continue to instruct them in his ways and lead them on the path of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithfully departed, may the Lord have mercy on them and welcome them into the banquet of his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Grace Walker, whose 91st birthday is tomorrow, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer for healing for uh, Father Jack Ward, the pastor of Our Lady of the Fields, and for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Tom Tuis, who passed away this week. We pray to the Lord. And we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink.
pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
we pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, the bread of life, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody.